It is a pond not meant for swimming and a local man found that out the hard way with when he encountered the gator there. Uh, that gator attacked him. Turns out that he was trying to get a golf disc. The man was all new at 530. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tonight with the risky business that residents say needs to stop. Cliff Stevens Park is filled with disc golf players <coughs> and gators. The creek is even named after them. Ron Howell has been playing the sport for 15 years and says there are a handful of people willing to jump into the water for a little cash to grab a disc thrown a bit off course. It's not the alligator's fault. You know that this guy is swimming in the water every day, making himself subject to being a, a victim. It's easy to walk away from a disc that maybe only costs six dollars, but this one, for example, is twenty five dollars and a lot of these folks will do everything they can to get it back. It's what rescue crews say one man was doing Monday when a gator bit him. A couple guys uh, rescued him from the gator's mouth and he's lucky to be alive. It's not worth risking your life over a disc. Trevor Tenya says there are tools out there that only cost about 20 to 30 bucks, allowing you to safely fetch your lost disc. But he says if you can't see it, move on. I would say stop encouraging the guys that, that want the money and are diving for tips. Stop doing it. Let the disc go. Two gators were trapped and euthanized after Monday's attack. FWC says they don't typically relocate gators because it can be dangerous to people and other alligators. In Clearwater, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.